So two inputs connected to terminal VA. So this is, uh, if we consider them individually, for this we found out uh, this output here. Similarly, for the other one also we can find the output and the sum of the two. This is for the first one, this one, and this equation Rf by R2. This was Rf by R1, Rf by R1 into V1 and Rf by R2 into V2. So Rf by R2 into V2. So the, this is the equation for the outward voltage if we have two inputs. What if you have three inputs? In a similar way, like we did here, for three inputs, we'll have three terms. So this will be uh, the equation for three inputs. Now remember that the denominator all has different resistors. The resistors that is connected with the voltage. So V1 uh, uh, is connected with R1, so in the first case we will divide by R1, V2 is connected by R2, so in the second case we will divide by R2, and V3 is connected by R3, so in the third case we will divide by R3. And this can also be uh, written like this, so you take the negative sign common of all, so this is uh, your final equation for V0. So since we are adding all the three inputs, that is why this is called a summing amplifier. Okay, now in this example, <coughs> we need to find V0 and I0. As you can see from the circuit, the positive terminal is connect connected to the ground and the negative terminal has two inputs. So this is two inputs summing amplifier. So we'll use the formula for a summing amplifier. And in this case, you can see RF is 10 kilo, R1 is 5 kilo, and R2 is 2.5 kilo. So we put the values to find V0, and uh, the V0 can be found to be negative 8 volts. So this is the first part. Now we come on to the second part to find the current. So this circuit is redrawn here with the names of these two currents given. So let's call this current as I4 and the current leaving as I5. So at this node, we can write the KCL current entering I0 plus I4 is equal to current leaving I5. Now how much, uh, sorry, VA and VB, since they are connected, uh, VB is connected to ground, therefore VA is also virtually connected to ground. That means VA and VB are zero. So while writing the current equation, we can write V A V B is equal to zero. So I naught and I four is actually VA minus V naught over ten k. But since VA is zero, so we write zero. So zero minus V naught over ten k equals I5 is V0 minus 0 divided by 2K. And now putting the value of V0, which is negative 8 volt in this equation, our current equation becomes like this. And uh, taking this on the right hand side, solving, we can find I0. Uh,